Let's go over one of the potential solutions to the last week's weekly math challenge, which was number 72. Consider a triangle ABC such that A is 45 degrees and B is 60 degrees. Points D, E, and F are the midpoints of size B, C, C, A, and A, B respectively. So we know these points D, E, and F are the midpoints of the size as illustrated in the diagram. And there is this circle gamma, which is right here, going through the points D, E, and F, intersecting A, B, C also at the points G, H, and I. So here are the additional points of intersection as shown in the figure, and we wish to find the ratio of the area of triangle ABC, so the entire triangle, to the area of the hexagon D, G, H, E, F, I. So we want to compare the area of ABC to this hexagon formed by the six points of intersection. Before we go any farther, I want to take this time to recognize Eddie Farbuckle, who was the very first person to correctly answer this challenge problem last week. A huge shout out to Eddie Farbuckle, and now let's see if we can answer this question ourselves. The first thing I want us to realize is that the circle gamma is actually the 9-point circle of triangle ABC. If you have studied Euclidean geometry beyond what they teach us at the high school curriculum, it is likely that you have encountered the 9-point circle along the way. But just in case you have never heard of the term 9-point circle, let me quickly give you an overview. So it turns out for every triangle ABC, there is a circle that goes through the midpoint of the size and also the fit of the altitudes of ABC. Another way of saying it, BIC is a 90 degree angle, BHC is also a 90 degree angle, and AGB is also a 90 degree angle. So we have three midpoints and three fit of the altitude. Now you may ask, why is it 9 point then instead of 6 points? Well, now I'm digressing a little bit, but I think this is interesting, so let me quickly point it out. So, when you draw the three altitudes of the triangle, you are going to have this orthocenter, this point of concurrency, H. And it turns out, if you look at HC, AH, and BH, and you look at their midpoints, they also lie on the circle as well. Obviously, I'm not providing a rigorous proof, not even close to it. That's a topic for another video. But at least from the diagram, it looks reasonable that all the 9 points lie on the same circle. Now, it is actually possible to solve this problem without using the properties of the 9 point circle. You can do a ton of angle chasing, apply law of cosines and law of sines, and finish it up. But personally, I couldn't find any elegant way of finishing this problem without using the 9-point circle. So in this video, we are going to assume one property of the 9-point circle, which is that I, G, and H are actually the fit of the altitudes. Now a key idea is that we don't really have to find the area of the hexagon, but we can find the area of the triangles outside the hexagon. So this triangle, this triangle, and this triangle. Find the proportion of the sum of the areas to the triangle ABC, subtract that from 1, and we are going to find the proportion of the area of the hexagon. And one reason we think of this is because of the area of triangle AEF is particularly easy to find, because E and F are midpoints of the sides AC and AB, respectively. We know the area of AEF is 1 fourth the area of the entire triangle. So we know this area is 1 fourth ABC. Let's write it down. Just in case you don't see why this is 1 fourth, realize that we can divide triangle ABC to four congruent triangles as shown. One here, one here, one here, and one here using the midpoint E, F, and D. Proving that the triangle is congruent is not too hard. I leave that up to you if you're interested. Now, what about the triangle BID? How about this one? 
we cannot do the same thing and say it's one-fourth because i is in the midpoint of side ab. If we had this triangle, then yes, it's one-fourth, but it's smaller than one-fourth. So how do we calculate it in this case? Well, this is where the fact that i is the foot of altitude come into play. We know when we draw ic, that's 90, so we have a 45, 45, 90 triangle residing to the left and a 30, 60, 90 triangle residing to the right. So we want to write the area of triangle BID, so the blue triangle, in terms of triangle ABC. So we want to write it as triangle ABC times something. So how can we? Well, we can do that once we can write BI and BD in terms of AB and BC respectively. Because area of BID is one half BI times BD times the sine of 60. This is a well-known area of a triangle formula. And we know right away that BD is in fact one half of BC because D is the midpoint. So we know that's one half of BC. And now, once we can write the BI as something times AB, then we are going to have one half AB times BC times sine of 60, which is area of triangle ABC times these constants. So once we can write bi in terms of ab, we are done. If bi is 1, let's think of this as 1 for the moment, then we know ic is square root of 3, 30, 60, 90 triangle, and now turning our attention to 45, 45, 90 triangle, we know ai is a square root of 3. So we know the entire ab is 1 plus square root of 3, telling us that bi is 1 over 1 plus square root of 3, times AB. So here we have it. So we have an area of BID being one half AB, BC sine of 60, which is the area of triangle ABC, times 1 over 2 times 1 plus square root of 3. And we can rationalize this. 1 over 1 plus square root of 3, that's square root of 3 minus 1 over 2. So we have a triangle ABC times square root of 3 minus 1 over 4. Let's go up and write it down. One more to go, so this green triangle right here. And in this case, neither H or G is the midpoint, so we are going to have to do the most work in this case. Let's start by finding ratio of HC to AC that can be accomplished by drawing the altitude BH, getting us 45, 45, 90 triangle and 15, 75, 90 triangle. If we think of CH as being 1, we know this BH is going to be tangent of 75 because opposite of adjacent. And that's telling us that AH because of 45, 45, 90 is also tangent of 75. So we now have a factor 1 over 1 plus tangent of 75. And now let's do the same thing for GC, draw the altitude AG getting us 15, 75, 90, and 30, 60, 90 triangle in this case. So if we let GC be 1, we know the altitude, once again, is a tangent of 75, and that's telling us that BG, so this length, is a tangent of 75 divided by square root of 3. So we now have a factor 1 over 1 plus tangent of 75 over square root of 3, and we know to this we are going to multiply area of ABC. So what is tangent of 75? That's tangent of 45 plus 30. And we can apply tangent addition formula. We know tangent of 45 is 1. Tangent of 30 is square root of 3 over 3. And multiplying top and bottom by 3. And then rationalizing the entire thing. That's going to be 3 plus square root of 3 squared over 9 minus 3 or 6. And this is 12 plus 6 square root of 3 over 6, or 2 plus square root of 3. So we have this nice expression for tangent of 75. So let's simplify these expressions. We have 1 over 3 plus square root of 3 times 1 over 1 plus 2 plus square root of 3 over square root of 3. And this is 1 over 3 plus square root of 3. I multiply by square root of 3 to top and bottom for this one. Square root of 3 over square root of 3 plus 2 plus square root of 3, also known as 2 plus 
2 times the square root of 3, and we can also factor out a2, so 2 times 1 plus the square root of 3, and from here it's just cleaning it up, we have a square root of 3 over 2 times 1 over, when we multiply these two, we are going to get 6 plus 4 times the square root of 3, we can take out another 2, and then rationalize the fraction, which is 3 minus 2 times square root of 3, over 9 minus 12, which is negative 3, getting us 3 times square root of 3 minus 6 over minus 12, and we can divide the top and bottom by negative 3, getting us 2 minus square root of 3 over 4. So finally, we have it. So we know this is 2 minus square root of 3 over 4 times the area of ABC. We are now a few steps away from the finish line, so we have to add up 1 fourth ABC, square root of 3 minus 1 over 4 ABC, and 2 minus square root of 3 over 4 ABC, and that's 4, we have 1, plus square root of 3 minus 1, plus 2 minus square root of 3, and this thing is square root of 3's go away, 1's go away, simply 2 over 4 or 1 half. So the sum of the areas of the red, blue, and green triangle is 1 half the area of the entire triangle ABC, which is telling us that the area of the hexagon is also 1 half triangle ABC. So we know the area of triangle ABC to the area of hexagon, well, that's going to be 2 because ABC is twice as large.